Doing the going gets tough. Tough get go where the going gets rough. Tough get go. Hey, hey, hey. Well, um, yeah, this one's a little different. It's not all boxing. This one's uh, about my second favorite sport, and that's uh, football, American football, and uh, has to deal with the NCAA football, not the NFL. And this is a little bit about a, a coach and a wide receiver. So you can tell in the title that was anyway. Now the first one is Urban Meyer and his retiring from Florida. And like I was uh, singing horribly earlier, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And instead of staying and fighting, he's making excuses saying, I'm leaving to spend time with my family. You know, uh, the reality is he took a team from Ron Zook, went him from 7-5 to five to 9-3, and three, used all of Ron Zook's players, basically, won a national title with him, uh, still had some of Zook's players when he won his second national title with the Gators, and then once it was basically all his own players, his team started losing because he's not that great of a coach. Anyway, he goes through. Uh, he went seven and five this year with all his own guys. Nobody else is on his team; just all his own guaranteed. And he went seven and five. So it's obvious he's not recruiting. You know the the players. He's you know he took another guy's team. You can look at the Utah team. You know that one that everybody's like, oh my God, they're so awesome. The Utah team was doing well by itself before he came. I mean, he took over. Uh, a rebuilt Ron McBride team that was coming up and was coming back and was going to bowl games. And he took that team that Ron McBride had built up, used Ron McBride's players, uh, Alex Smith was in there too. Um, they did really well for two years, and then he flew the coup. And then the guy that's replaced him is doing even better with Utah. And Utah is not really known to be a football powerhouse. I mean, they're in the, was it the Mountain West Conference? Something like that? It's horrible. Anyway, you know, so I, I think the uh, all hoopla around Urban Meyer, you really have to look at because while everybody's like, oh my God, he had all those good seasons, you know. Yeah, he won two national titles. They were with someone else's dudes. And he's coming up now, and he's having a bad season. You know, he's they're this bad team. It's not really a, a good team. I'm excited to see Florida suck, but I'm sure Florida fans aren't. But, you know, oh well. He's not Steve Spurrier. I'll say that much. I think Spurrier's a heck of a coach. He actually builds teams, keeps them, and doesn't leave them when, they, when he thinks they might be going bad, you know like Urban Meyer is really good at doing. So, you know, the second it gets tough, he uses the excuse, well, I want to spend more time with my family. All coaches want to do that. I think personally the SEC is a little too tough for him. And, uh, you know, now that he's got all his own players and it's all on him, he can't cut the mustard. Yeah. He took Zook's players, um, won titles, and then when it was his own, he got blown out of the water. So, that's my take on Urban Meyer. The next one is uh, an Iowa Hawkeye receiver. I don't know if you guys heard this, but uh, Daryl Johnson Kulianos, which is a great name overall. Kulianos, you know, it goes through. It's a you know urban kid gets adopted by an Italian family. They take him in. You know, he's going to Iowa. He's doing great things, and he's. He's not being accused of selling, like, dime bags to people. He's not being accused of any of that stuff. He's being accused of running a drug house in Iowa. Now, I don't know if you know about Iowa or where, you know, Iowa Hawkeyes is located, but it's a very, very small town, like 7,000 people. There's not a lot of people around the area. Everybody knows everybody. And if you're the number one receiver, the all-time receptions leader, all-time yardage, you know, the first wide receiver ever to lead the team three years in a row... People know who you are. You are a big fish in a small pond. And to be running a drug house 
Yeah, it's not the brightest thing you've ever done in your life. Now, they, uh, he tested positive for cocaine and Mary Jane. Marijuana. The sticky tabicky. Wacky tabacky. The cabbage. The Brussels sprouts. You know, whatever name you can try a witty name to come up with for weed. You know, that's, you know. And, uh, you know, they found $3,000 in cash. They found a digital scale. I'm not talking about one that you step on and weigh yourself. We're talking the grams, the ounces, all that kind of good stuff. You know, um, other, you know, drug paraphernalia stuff. They found traces of cocaine, marijuana, painkillers, and muscle relaxers in his room. Now, the painkillers and muscle relaxers are not under his prescription. They're not prescribed to him. In my state, that is a felony. And again, it's a felony if you take any medication that's not prescribed to you. But, you know, he's charged with possession of cocaine, marijuana, and prescription drugs. So these charges are very serious. He's went above and beyond. It's not like, hey, man, you want J? No, no. He's like, hey, why do you come out over to the house and go through my selection? I mean, it's crazy, the, the, uh, the amount of drugs. I mean... This is a potential pro prospect, you know. There are a lot of teams out there hurting for wide receivers. And you're so dumb, you decide to let a drug dealer run out of your house, man. You know, and he's... They're also thinking that he sold that they have electronic information, you know, that shows that he, he, he sold drugs and stuff like that. So, you know, he's, he's going to get hammered, too. Obviously suspended from the bowl game. And, uh, idiots, man. Idiots. So, you know, those are just two nice little stories I thought I'd share with you guys on this, uh, slow boxing day. It's a big boxing weekend, though. I don't think I ain't forgot. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm wrong with Urban Meyer? And, uh, how dumb do you think this guy is? The Kulianos guy. Honestly. Really. I mean, I just, I'm just asking, right? Wait, it's Big Red Who. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'm out.